She was the soul of prayer from her childhood. She had a deep awareness of God's transcendent nature from her childhood, of his presence in her heart. One day she was praying in the chapel before a figure of the heart of Jesus. She fell into an ecstasy and began to cry out, I want to suffer like you for the sins of the world. She saw roses pierce her hands and feet. She was given a wreath of roses, felt her heart being pierced, received the grace of the stigmata, and yet remained unaware of what was happening. Living here in the Holy Land, she would meet people suffering from leprosy. And so she thought that she was also suffering from leprosy. She told the mother who looked after her, Mother, please be careful not to catch this illness. To which the mother replied, without offering any explanation, My child, I believe that I will not become infected. Mariam Buardi, the Blessed Mariam of the Crucified Jesus, was born in January 1846 in Palestine, not 18 kilometers from Nazareth. She was a simple girl from a poor Galilean family. She could not read, and yet was a mystic endowed with the exceptional gifts of the stigmata and levitation. In 1878, Miriam brought about the construction of a Carmelite convent in Bethlehem, directly above the grotto, where, as it later transpired, David was anointed king. Mariam wybudowała klasztor, nadając mu kształt okrągły. Mariam built the convent in a circular shape. And when she saw the effects of her endeavor, she lived through three days of great suffering, lest she had not created something that could be called a military barracks. Turis Davidica. There is something of a defensive tower about it. The first floor is taken up uniquely by cells, with each one of us assigned a cell. Being in a tower, each cell faces a different direction, and thus, in this very simple way, Without undue symbolism, we embrace the whole world with our prayers. Today, nine sisters inhabit the Bethlehem Carmel, whilst a further four endeavour to join them. Beatified by Pope John Paul II in 1983, Mariam became the first modern-day Palestinian saint referred to as the Little Arab. I have great hopes that she will be canonized out of consideration for the Palestinians. I really have the impression that Mariam is particularly helpful towards them because they instinctively feel that she did not have an easy life and yet managed to get through everything and so understands them and truly helps them. Even when the situation is really very difficult, she helps them live full lives filled with joy and hope. I greatly admire the faith of the people living here because I feel that it is for them a truly vital part of their existence. At the same time, one feels that life is really hard. It is true that Christians can bridge the two worlds, Muslim and Jewish, but it is never an easy task for them. There are 68 mosques in Bethlehem and its surroundings. These are not always your typical mosques with minarets. You can also see loudspeakers installed on ordinary Bethlehem buildings and townhouses. When the time for prayer comes for us and our brother Muslims alike, a kind of clash is the result. The sound coming from the town is so loud that we cannot hear each other singing in prayer. I might add that Bethlehem has 36 Christian communities and Christians make up 2% of the Holy Land's population. 
I reckon that we rarely appreciate, especially in Europe, that we actually live in a Muslim town, while simultaneously remaining very conscious that this town is where Jesus was born, so that our presence here is very important for us.